Street Trash was an interactive art installation, which took place at Columbia College Chicago in 2012. Within the gallery space, I created a mythological skate park. The sound of a train rumbles overhead. The skate park is filled with wearable book objects like a welding mask, an arm cast, or a backpack. These objects represented characters from my story about five skater kids and their relationship with an older man named Samuel. When the audience put on or stepped into one of my objects, they could read words on the object itself or listen to the character narrating his or her personal story. This is Thrash's cast, all that remains of him, the loser. He said it is so bad he couldn't sleep at night. I imagine it was like an army of ants running up and down his arms. Put it on and see for yourself. Don't be afraid of it. Go ahead. Pick it up. The fish your left arm. I live alone in a city filled with shadows of kids who are unwanted or ignored or held so tight they run away as far as they can, which in many cases leads them to a park or an alley or a doorway. I only have to say, come with me and I'll give you a, a couch to sleep on or let me buy you something to eat. Carol Frost, son of American poet Robert Frost, burned his own poems before committing suicide in the fall of 1940. In my research, I could not locate any existing poems by Carol Frost. His actual obituary was short and uninspiring. We do know that he found it difficult to live in the shadow of his famous father. Detritus is an assemblage of fragments, burned poems, obituary, which I created based on biographical research. I wanted the poems to seem rebellious, a twist on his father's poetry. I also wanted to create sound with this book, so the pages crackle like leaves when they unfold. The Hamatsa, or cannibal, was a secret society among the Quackutal people of the Pacific Northwest. Part of its practice consisted of a dramatic performance with music, masks, and dancing. During the ceremony, initiates, usually teenage boys, were taken by the cannibal spirit to reside in the woods for a specific period of time. I tried to capture some of the essence of sound and movement in this book through text, image, and structure. The tunnel book structure creates a miniature stage. In addition to the large tunnel book, I made 15 smaller versions out of handmade paper. I created a text inspired by existing song texts of the Pacific Northwest coastal peoples. Listen. The wild man of the forest claws at your window, beats on your door, to steal away your sons to his house full of corpses. Charlie Forgive Me is an artist book with pages made from red oak held together with a leather spine. Text and image have been laser cut, letterpress printed, and pulp painted. The story is inspired by an 1879 murder which occurred in Cleveland, Ohio. In the facts of the case established through newspaper articles and court records, Charles McGill finally located his estranged lover, Mary Kelly, who had been residing in a house of prostitution. He begged her to marry him and promised to change his abusive ways. He pulled out a gun and threatened to kill himself. When she refused to marry him, he shot her 11 times. I provided an imagined text from the point of view of the victim and also included images and headlines which appeared in the press.